All right, guys. This is Carrie Pops, and welcome to my continuation of my Superman Rebirth tutorial. In this video, we're gonna be looking at uh, how I glued and painted everything. Most likely, I'm gonna talk. I'm not gonna talk over it as much because you know, gluing and painting is basically pretty, pretty self-explanatory. I'm sorry, I'm looking at this game right now because I'm looking at the at the, at the steps that I took because I have everything. You know, I have everything named, so I want I want to record everything. You know, everything in order. <laughs> So I'm sorry about that. So yeah, this basically this video is gonna be gluing everything together, and then uh, after that, most likely it's gonna be a showcase of the Superman suit that I have here hanging up. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy that. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. Uh, enjoy this video of the tutorial, and the last part is just basically gonna be a super build. I mean, you guys got a teaser of the Superman suit, but since then I have actually worked it, make it better from what it is. Last, uh, last time, last time that the teaser took us out, it was still in the works, but now it's just better in my opinion. This is so much better, and I just love how it turned out. So, yeah, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Most likely, it's gonna be a time lapse of it. Uh, me going and painting everything. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and keep, out, and keep an eye out for more tutorials in the future for all the cosmetics that I have planned for this year. So, this is the Cure Box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the time lapse of me going and painting. We're talking about, we're talking about, about everything. So, all right guys uh, here it is me gluing everything down this is gonna be a longer video because I decided to showcase you guys um, everything that I did to glue down to glue all my superman pieces together like I said in the beginning like I said I wanna the first part of the tutorial I use rayon lycra for my superman suit but I recommend you guys to use cotton lycra because that's gonna be it's gonna turn out so much better um, in your uh, in in your cosplays if you're gonna be creating a bodysuit because you can actually use uh, cotton lycra with a sewing machine. Rayon lycra you can use it with a sewing machine, but the fabric is just gonna be moving everywhere because it's just too slippery for for my liking. It's just too slippery for me. So that's why I'm gonna be using uh, for the now from the future. Uh, I'm gonna be using cotton lycra because I can use a sewing machine with it. So yeah, that's gonna cut my time in half using a sewing machine. So yeah, basically right now I'm basically gluing, I like to say basically a lot, if you guys don't know this. What I'm doing right now is, <laughs> I'm gluing everything I'm gluing everything down with the liquid stitch that I get in my local Walmart. Um, the liquid stitch is permanent, it doesn't rip apart, even if I tug at it, I mean you really have to tug at it. I like really, really tug at it just to rip it off. So basically that's what I'm doing, I'm going to be gluing everything down. And then I'm gonna be coming back uh, when I glue all my phone stuff and talking about it for you guys. So stay, uh, hope you guys enjoy enjoying this tutorial and I'm gonna be coming right back when I'm gluing all my phone stuff. So enjoy this tutorial guys. Alright guys, so then here it is me gluing um, the Superman belt together. Um, if you guys saw beforehand, um, uh, since I can't get thicker uh, foam from what I get at my local Walmart for 2mm If I want to create like a book cover or belt, I basically use the uh, the sticky back foam, the adhesive foam And I put it to the regular foam that has no adhesive And that basically goes from like 3mm to almost like 4mm or so So it's going to be uh, th like thick enough that I can, you know, it's going to be sturdy So here it is, me creating all, uh, me creating the book covers, um, putting, the putting the foam risers on it and then uh, I created the, I made the belt as well. So it, it, that's basically what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be gluing everything together, and then later on I'm gonna be glue, I'm gonna be ra uh, fabric wrapping everything together as well. So here is me basically uh, making the boots as well. I made a mistake and doing the boots, so that's why you're gonna see you're gonna see one part that I'm kind of gonna be ripping it off and just putting it again together. That was a mistake of mine. So yeah, I make mistakes when I'm when I'm doing this cosplay tutorial, so you guys cannot make the same mistake as I did. So yeah, uh, I record everything. Basically, basically what I do is I just basically press record, I sit down, and I just go, go by, and then I forget that I'm not recording. So that's why it's half of the time, just you guys see the webcam going, and like going like crazy. I'm like, oops, I forgot I'm still recording, and I go back to it, and, and I basically try to do the footage as much like, as much as I can uh, before you know before a racing before starting all over again. And here it is, me um, gluing the. Um, the fabric to the um, to the belt. So basically, what I use uh, what I use for this, I use the the fabric tape, um, the fabric adhesive tape. Um, the fabric tape it actually gives me a lot of trouble. I like to use it because it's like a last minute resort, like a last minute emergency use. 
that I like to have the fabric for. Like it helps. It helps a lot uh, having the emergency fabric. But I'm gonna. I'm getting better at doing fabric. I uh, doing covering foam with fabric. That I already know the tricks and tips that I need to um, to basically um, to basically make it seamless to look like it was fabricated. Um, not professionally, but it was fabricated well. So uh, that's why you guys, as you can see me use the hot glue gun, and I think I'm glue I glued it. If I remember correctly, looking back at it, if I can find it again, I think I glued it um, from back to forth. If not, I probably just did one layer of glue, one layer of fabric in the front. That's about it. And then I covered basically all the foam pieces, like the cuffs, the Superman belt, the emblem. I did everything. I just covered in fabric because I want to experiment uh, painting fabric as well. So yeah, that's basically I covered everything. I covered everything in fabric. Um, Everything, everything's basically fabric made. The only thing that I painted was basically the paint, the emblem, and the cuffs, where they were covered in fake leather. And I'm gonna be um, talking about the process as well, how I painted the fake leather, to um, to um, so it could look like the color there was from going originally to like brown to like gold, blue, and red. So I'm gonna be talking about that in a later part of this video. And yes, you know I'm using fabric tape as well, so I can uh, glue it, glue the the top of the the top of the fabric on the on the on the risers and then just basically uh, and basically just uh, adhere the fabric to the tape so it can look like it's basically like it has dimension and everything so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video so far I'm gonna stop talking so you guys can watch the video and then I'm gonna be going back to where I painted everything and tell you guys how I did it so enjoy the video guys so here it is me painting the fake leather if you guys already see that one part is basically done I was testing it with the two different colors of me painting the fake leather so yeah uh, I think there's gonna be another part there's gonna be more in depth on me painting the fake leather and this is basically it uh, for this part I actually took out my Superman emblem design and I wanted to I wanted to make use of the fake leather because it was just lying around and I wasn't gonna it wasn't gonna be using it for later on and um, 
and I'm basically just basically I trace I trace my Superman emblem, and then I cut it out, and then after tracing it, I basically I didn't glue it uh, per se. I think I yeah I think I glue it. I glued it, and then after that, I basically cut it. Uh, I had to, I made a mistake again. I made I made a mistake, cause you know when you're making cosplays, you make mistakes. It's a normal thing to do. I made a mistake of cutting everything out too much, and then I couldn't paint it, so I basically I had to make a new one. But it was all good in the end. I still I still have left I still have leftover uh, fake leather that I can still use. But you know it's cos it's cosplay, bro. <laughs> Just like Sean Shen says. <laughs> so yeah, basically it's me gonna be cutting out. Um, I'm gonna uh, hopefully it shows a part of me uh, painting it soon. So I'm gonna stop talking and then I'm gonna really come back when I start painting everything. So yeah, basically the process of me adhering the foam to the fabric for actually for fake leather, I like to use a fabric tape because the fabric tape is legit almost a permanent a permanent bond with the foam and the and the, and the fake leather because the hot glue doesn't work as as well as it should be. So that's why I like to use the, the fabric tape with it and then the like the leftover edges I basically I basically glue it to the to the emblem edges on itself so it can have like a permanent permanent seal. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video so far again. I'm sorry I'm repeating myself, but I'm gonna be coming back to where I'm actually painting the fake leather and I'm gonna tell you guys the steps that I the steps that you, that you need to create to paint the fake leather if you guys want to. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, so here it is. Here is me painting the fake leather. Um, I'm basically, I'm gonna give you guys tips and ideas that you, um, that can help you um, painting the fake leather. Um, number one, um, the, uh, the way that I did it, it was fine, but I, I wasn't satisfied with how I did it. It turned out fine, like the colors were vibrant enough, it was a deep red and it was a deep gold. But the morning after that, after I took off the gold, the paint went out, like, like it came with it. So I couldn't do anything. Like right now, what you guys are seeing is just basically um, the the blue, uh, the gold is painted over, and um, I'm gonna be painting the red as well. The red got painted over, as you guys can see. Uh, I think I lost the footage that I couldn't do it properly, so that's why you guys see everything. But I'm gonna be going in depth on how you guys can paint everything in this part right here. So if you guys want to paint fake leather. The first thing you want to do, if you actually want to change the color or just add the same color but darker, always prime your stuff. What I mean by prime it, I mean have a primer color, like a gray color. Gray, gray is a really good foundation for primer if you guys want to paint something. That's always the basis, that's always number one thing to do. If you guys want to paint paint your props that is out of foam, always always coat it first with a, with a Mod Podge, Plasti Dip it. Then after that, you will definitely miss, definitely have a primer for it. That's how it's gonna work. If you have a primer for it, and then you do two coats of primer, and then you put the, the top coat on, on top of whatever color you want, the color is gonna adhere perfectly, and it's gonna be that same. It's gonna be that same color. It's gonna be that same color, even thicker, uh, a thicker color. And it's gonna come out so much well. Trust me, I learned that from experience from creating my new cosplays right now, and it just turned out amazing. So I suggest you guys to do that to have a primer, to have a primer first before putting your color because you guys are gonna be struggling so much if you guys don't have a primer, uh, if you don't guys don't put a primer down first and then add, put your color. You, trust me, you guys are gonna be saving yourself a headache. So yeah, that's my little tip for you guys. As you guys saw, um, uh, right now what I did, I basically put fake leather on top of the boots and it basically acts as a red trim and it actually works well. I'm gonna be going over it, over everything in the showcase video. And here it is, me basically tracing the the arm cuffs, because I saw that he has this little design that I liked, I liked, I liked a lot. The little design that he had on the new Superman suit that I wanted to incorporate on the on the Superman suit that I'm making. So it's basically like three little design suits into one, and it just turned out great because I love the I love the Superman suit. Like I, I I will wear it right now, but I'm gonna be showcasing that later on, and I'm gonna be recording it and talking about all the stuff that I did, and most likely wearing it or putting it or putting it on a mannequin. So we'll see. So yeah, the video is about to end. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video so far. I know I rambled a lot, I rambled a lot for too long, but I wanted to give you guys all the tips that I did on this video. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the tutorial and stay tuned for another part coming. Thank you guys so much for watching.